Hey guys, Mortiman here, reacting to the Left 4 Dead 2 trailer, the last stand update. Speedwagon was telling me about this the other day. I think some community campaign or some solo uh, map came out and they decided to make an entire update for it where it became a campaign. I don't know the stories of it, but I just watched the teaser trailer. I'm pretty sure they have information about it on there. Last stand is an update for Left 4 Dead 2 created by the community for the community. Additional details will be coming soon. So let me see. So before I play this individual's video, maybe IGN has like the actual information on it on a description because because I was right about it being a community made thing. So last end is an update for Left 4 Dead 2 created by the community for the community. <laughs> so I, I think we're just getting a new campaign. Actually, it'd be kind of sick if we got like more than one campaign added to added to the um game. But I don't know. Because uh, this, this is car right here reminds me. I forgot what that the that one campaign was where starts off with you crashing in a helicopter. Mm, the one where it, that you're in the car, you're next to a car, and uh, the bridge, the bridge. Uh, there's a bridge they got to cross, but it's broken, so they got to go up a ladder. Death toll. There you go. Death toll. Yeah. Death toll. That's that's what this shot yeah. right here reminds me of. That's what it starts I was... off with you crashing in a helicopter, I believe. I thought that was. I thought that was sacrifice. No, not a sacrifice. No. That was um, that was that one map where it was uh, it was it only had two parts. It was a DLC map. No, no, really? it was uh, in the, it was from Left 4 Dead One. I know it was a DLC from Left 4 Dead One. It took no. place right after No Mercy, right? Are you talking about the one that took place after Blood Harvest? I mean, after I mean after Dead Air. Uh, it, so you yeah, it's the one right after No Mercy, but that's not a DLC one. That's Death Doll. Where the hell is Crash Course? No, no. Oh, wait, no, that's Crash Course. Yeah, Crash Course, where they show yeah. you how they crash the helicopter. Where are you supposed Yeah, mind. this reminded me of Death Toll. So we got some green gas cans. I wonder if it's like they filled it up and came in by here. So it's a Left 4 Dead 2, so I wonder if the story is canon or if it's community made. I mean, it's definitely a new map. It's the same game, but it, you know, it's a new map. This doesn't. There's no map that I, there's no official map where you're shooting by a by the ocean. The only closest thing to that I can think of is hard rain, but that's not really the ocean. I mean, I guess it is where you get picked up. Uh, yeah. Wait. And the lighthouse is giving me a Left 4 Dead One vibes. Where Left 4 Dead One. Where they had the, their very first survivalist map called, I think, the light tower or something. But, so they have a light tower. Yeah, I think that's a generator right there in that building. I could be wrong. There's a, there, that might be a generator. And you see how there's like, there's like, um, like horns at the top. Maybe so the generator and that makes noise at the top and that starts a horde or whatever. That could be a yeah. possibility. Uh... Oh, boat. Maybe that's how you escape. Maybe uh, you get picked up at the bottom right, right there. Yeah, maybe. That makes There's sense. There's a house down there. Hmm. Possibly. It could be like a. It could be another one of those uh, places you have to hold. Yeah, or that could be like, like where the like radio. Th that's like where the radio is. Yeah. Or maybe you spawn there. Who knows? Maybe you spawn in a boat. Yeah, you spawn in a boat and you make your way up top to the lighthouse. Maybe. I mean, what if what if they at the end of Left 4 Dead One. They found a boat after the sacrifice, and there was another person that joined them for their trip, and this is that. That'd be insane, cause, cause yeah, cause on um, the sacrifice, the after those three, well, cause they were gonna try to find a boat, but after Bill died, they decided to stay there, and then on the parish, the Left 4 Dead two survivors meet up with the Left 4 Dead one survivor. So maybe the Left 4 Dead one survivors after the parish finally decided to. Go for the boat, and you could be right. And what's it called? They found a fourth person. That is very possible. But it says Left 4 Dead 2. It's probably Left 4 Dead 2 game. But I wonder if the campaign is Left 4 Dead 1 or Left 4 Dead 2. Or it could be adding on stories for both Left 4 Dead 1 and for Left 4 Dead 2, which would be huge. Because it's like, what happened with the... Because even though I read the comments for the sacrifice, you know, they haven't told what happened to the group after the parish. And we still don't know what happened to the Left 4 Dead group after, um... Fuck, what's that map called? What's the map called on the bridge? The bombing of the bridge? 
for the Left 4 Dead that's, 2 map? Uh, that's, that's the parish. You're thinking of the passing. Oh, yeah, the passing. I'm thinking of the passing. Okay, so the parish is the one thing. Yeah, we don't know what happens with the par- with the, after the after the parish, which is kind of sucks. Cause didn't Left 4 Dead 2 came out in, what, 2009? Yeah. Fuck. I want like, after how many years? Freaking... That's crazy. But hope, I, I think it's probably maybe going to be a Left 4 Dead 2 campaign. But Dude, I think... do you remember when Valve used to make video games? Yeah, when I was a kid. I think it'd be huge if they continued stories instead of making up a new what one. If, what if this is a bait and switch? What do you mean? They say Left 4 Dead 2, The Last Stand update. Uh-huh. No. No, they wouldn't do that. This isn't how they would announce Left 4 Dead 3. That's not That's not how it would do. Nah. Maybe Valve is that dumb, though. Maybe they bait and switch. It says Community Made, though. I don't know. I mean, the community wants a third game really badly. I know. So that I, that kind of bothers me. Like, I get it. You make so much like money off of Steam, but when you have millions of people begging for a third game for like multiple games you've made, it's like you probably make even more money making a Portal Three, Left for Dead Three, and a Half Life Three, especially, or even just you know dropping an update for Team Fortress Two. That too. Where's my Spy vs. Sniper update at? <laughs> Where's the heavy update that, that they were true. talking about during j- the Jungle Inferno? And there was supposed, an- supposed to be another update where I remember Benny tweeted out they're gonna make a game changing update. We're still waiting for that. I mean, you know, yeah. we're, we're not. We're, you know, TF2 is reviving they again, did. but it, I feel I want I want to see TF2 thrive more than it is now. They did release Half Life Alex. And that was a big chunk of their time for a long time. So maybe I, since that's that was out like now. like VR, though. Like, not many people got to play that. That's I, a few I, months ago. I, I didn't have a spare $800 just to buy the VR set and then another $60 just to buy the game. But from what I know, the way Valve works is people work on what they want to work on. Uh-huh. So maybe eventually someone is going to be like, you know, remember that game with the funny characters and the hats? Let's do something for that. Yeah. Like, they're just probably just working on passion projects or... I don't or know. Or maybe Portal 3 or maybe Left 4 Dead 3 or an actual Half-Life 3. That's not happening. Um, Half-Life Alex is the closest we'll get for that. Probably. I don't personally care about Half-Life 3. Or Portal 3, for that matter. I'm interested in Left 4 Dead 3 and further updates for Team Fortress 2. I don't want a Team Fortress 3. That would be dumb. I'm very yeah, interested would. in Half Life Three just because of how Half Life Two Episode Two ended. It was a cliffhanger, and that sucked. And you know, Portal Three, I'm not that interested in, but it'd be kind of cool for them to count to three for once in their life. And Left 4 Dead Three, of course, Left 4 Dead One, Left 4 Dead Two, Left 4 Dead One. I grew up with freaking love that game. Left 4 Dead Two is an outstanding game, and Left 4 Dead Three, like, like there's two so much possibilities. Like, sure, you could start off a third group of dude if you could like continue that you could honestly in left for dead three you could have two separate campaigns yo One. remember a couple of years ago when valve released a demo of source uh the, the new source engine like the source 2 or whatever it was uh-huh with a left for dead 2 environment i think so. and everyone thought that it was uh an announcement for left for dead 3 and it wasn't <laughs> and it was just them demoing a new version of their an- ancient video game engine yeah That thing is earlier than, like, it's like 2000. It's like 1999 or something. Didn't they use the Source Engine for a first Half-Life game? Maybe. No, that has to have been a different engine. Wait, first Half-Life? Are you talking about Half-Life 2? I know they used it for Half-Life 2. I don't know if it was for Half-Life 1. I'm pretty sure that was another engine. But yeah, uh, even just that. Like, that's 2004, I want to say. For Half-Life 2, I believe so. That's a 16-year-old engine. And they... they, they uh. It's crazy, because that engine in 2004 was ahead of its time, without a doubt. But still, I think it still is. Yeah, honestly, honestly I feel like that engine could really still hold up to, like, today. Because it, it's a very fluid engine. It's 
there's not many things wrong with it and it's just a super solid consistent good engine you know it's not clunky at all and it's it's very fluid movement in my opinion i mean the fact that you can be up for miles and have do ridiculous movement and you can pick up speeds in crazy I've, amount of ways i've seen some things i don't know how people can rocket jump like that man i've been trying for years i can't i can't dupe that when i was at my peak of rocket jumping you know what? We can talk about this. I'm just going to end the video before it comes into a totally different subject. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this Left 4 Dead 2 The Last Stand update. I've enjoyed my salty root beer. Hopefully, this is them continuing the Left 4 Dead 2 story, Left 4 Dead 1 story. But if they make an entirely new campaign, I'm up for that too. But I really hope for Left 4 Dead 3. Tell me what you guys are looking forward to below in this campaign. And also, are you guys looking... Do you guys want Left 4 Dead 3? Do you guys want Half-Life 3? Do you want Portal 3? If you have to choose three. one, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. This was a mistake! <laughs>